All right, this is a six gram dose recipe for the uh, Cafec Deep 27. I think the reason why I like the Deep 27 so much is because I can do these really, really tiny dosages. Um, but what I wanted to just basically showcase was uh, a recipe I've been using that I am pretty happy with. I think this recipe works well for a lot of light roast coffees. I like to use uh, this little leaf here to help give me additional wet WDT agitation. Um, but pretty much this is going to be an adapted recipe from my standard V60 recipe. Um, but for the Deep 27, I also have pinned the regular Deep 27 recipe on the uh, Discord. So in, if you have uh, any questions, take a look there. Um, but uh, I guess we'll go and brew some, uh, this is some Pepe Hihan from Say. Generally speaking with uh, the Deep 27, if I do very, very small dosages, and you'll see here, if once I do six grams, it's only gonna be about here. So your kettle is gonna be pretty much all the way up here, unless you have one of those fancy um, Cafec Tsubame Pro kettles. So you basically kind of wanna compensate uh, temperature at time. So say if you're brewing 95 Celsius, I would up the temperature maybe 96, 97 Celsius. Um, and then I'm also going to uh, grind very fine. The interesting thing with the Deep 27 is at times it feels very grind size agnostic. So you can do whatever the hell grind size you want and it usually works out. Um, and partially because sometimes there's just literally <laughs> bypass uh, coffee flowing through the sides. But if you wet WDT enough, you will accomplish, I would say, fairly high extractions. The The cool thing with this is uh, you are able to accomplish pretty high extractions even at six grams. I just brewed some prodigal earlier today and I did a six to a hundred gram dose, which is what, or hundred gram brew, which is what we're gonna do. And I was able to accomplish 24% extraction yield. Uh, the grinder I think I was using for that was the uh, DF83 with the brew burrs, but let me go and actually take some of this, say Pepe and we'll, I guess we can brew and then do like a very quick refract as well. So I'm grinding pretty fine. Um, grinding basically a bit finer than normal, uh, which whatever that is, but like, that's the cool thing about the Deep 27. So look, I'm just pouring water in here. Basically is going through just as fast as you can pour it. And that's because it's that 27 uh, degree angle. Let's see if I can make sure the scale is still shown here. Sometimes what you wanna be careful of when you're just using the stripper is uh, basically, you wanna make sure that the actual paper filters are sticking to the sides. Um, sometimes the paper filter can stick veer towards one side and what that will cause is it'll cause um, you to just get a ton of bypass through one area. Let's see if I can make this happen and still show you guys. So this is my below a gram dose. Uh, I am grinding pretty fine as you'll, you'll be able to see. So here we go, 5.9, six grams, whatever, close enough. Um, now here's the thing is, as you see, we're only filling maybe a, a third of the way up on the Deep 27. So what you'll need to do is either up the temperature or maybe bloom things a little bit longer if you want to accomplish the same strength of, of brew. So um, anyway, I'm going to start off by doing a pretty higher flow, 50 gram brew or, or bloom. And then I'm just gonna take my wet WDT tool, get in there and kind of go in and knock all of the coffee from the edges because it's kind of that same flower geometry that gets in there. But as you see, I literally can just keep on doing this and my flow rate does not change because it's so, uh, it's, it's so shallow or, or I mean, it's so s steep that your flow uh, just will always go through um, and your flow rate is really, really fast. Um, but yeah, I let this sit for a minute and then I'm just gonna pour another 50 grams and that's a six to a hundred, which is about 16.666 or 16.7, you know, in that area uh, there. And uh, generally speaking, this results in a pretty good cup. Um, it, it really gives you that standard Deep 27 flavor profile, which to me is uh, definitely in uh, that, that sweeter side a little too much actually but yeah I just go in there wet WDT and then 
give it a swirl and a tap. And you can see that I, I could just uh, keep doing that and the flow is still going to be very, very constant. Um, but this to me has uh, allowed me to basically accomplish those, I would say, uh, heftier, more d d uh, <laughs> extracted brews in the sub eight gram world. Uh, and that I think is really, really fun. Total brew time is still gonna be around, I would say like two-ish minutes. A uh, little bit faster than like your big, than my normal big V60 recipe. But the flow is constant and that's what's really awesome. So there you go. Uh, just basically two minutes. And as you see there, your, let me see if I can hold this up here. Your bed is very, very flat. And the funny thing is like, you know, we do see some of those fines uh, get caught into the edges there because this is a backup plus, which does a pretty good job at that. Um, but yeah, I'm grinding really, really fine. This is something that would probably stall on a normal V60 or a, a standard shaped uh, brewer. And then as you see there, you know, it's actually visually a nicer or a color, you know, looks well extracted. So 88.3, you know, this will just give you an idea of, of what to expect. Yeah. So like 1.66, 1.64, pretty much, uh, this is going to, well, let's give it a taste. Usually what this does is this gives you that strength of extraction as you see visually. Um, but, um, it's enveloped in that kind of standard deep 27 sweet flavor profile. So it tastes really, really sweet. Um, but you can clearly taste that the deep 27 is imparting what I sometimes would classify as like, kind of like if you ever tasted a yeast layered coffee. Yeah. So 1.64 seems like we're getting the same reading. It's like relatively stabilized. What I was saying is, uh, the way this tastes is it tastes like if you have a coffee that is uh, yeast fermented where there's that slight layering on top. But what's really awesome is I'm able to um, still make this a very tasty cup. Like the acidity and all that is extracted, but it is, it's like enveloped within this sort of yeast layering effect, which is sweetness in, on, on this stripper. But yeah, that's my sub eight gram. This is like the six gram brew. Uh, for any more discussion on this, talk about that in the discord. I'll probably make an actual video on the deep 27, but I have a lot of fun with this stripper, which is why I wanted to talk about it. Doing this like tiny, <laughs> tiny brew is hilarious. Uh, especially if we're able to accomplish cups that are uh, this well extracted that taste this good. Um, I don't think this is the highest clarity brewer in the world compared to something like V60. I think V60 gives you much more um, clarity in flavor notes. And then even uh, any of the flat bottoms give you a much more uh, de defined acidity. This is giving you, I would say, a very sweet cup within the context of like higher extraction if you decide to actually push things. Um, so yeah, anyway, that's my recipe for Deep 27. <laughs> tasting good. You can actually get accomplished decent numbers. You can brew harder to brew coffees here. And it's just kind of hilarious that you can brew uh, under eight grams. Um, that was a six gram brew right there. So yeah, thanks for watching and uh, see you guys later. Check out more things on the live stream.